Hi, in this tutorial we will discuss query key filters. Um, Tanstack query provides a lot of functions, uh, methods of the query client through which we can do a lot of stuff with the queries. Let's say we want to cancel a bunch of queries, we want to refetch a bunch of queries or invalidate a bunch of queries. The uh, Tanstack query provides us a way to do that using query key filters. We can either pass just a query key, which would just you know look at the query keys of those queries and match them to the, those and then do that particular operation such as in this case get queries data will get the queries data according to the query key for those particular queries but if we don't want to do that and we want to you know do some other things like we want to get active queries or we want to get stale queries or if you want to you know get queries which um basically uh, uh are you know uh, based on a function or uh, returning true or something of the sort we can do that using the query key filters and we will look at it in a bit so right now I have three queries um there is one query with the query key query one then there is another query key with query two and then these are returning query one query two in a string and then there is another uh, query different query two and it's returning query two as well i'm not actually making request to the server i'm just using a sleep function using promises and set timeout to you know emulate that i'm actually making a request but i'm not so yeah let's look at it so first of all um the first option which any function of the query client provides and is part of the query key filters thing is the query key itself so right now i'm saying any query key that matches with the query so all the queries which are correspond to this query key should be returned so if i go here and i click on this check query filters function then i get two query keys which are query one and query two which is the case because these are the ones that start with query but not you know different query that is a different key so you know that this is a simple thing i can also match exactly how i want so i can say query one and when I click on it again, you can see that now I get only one array that is query one, not query two, because you know it doesn't exactly match that. So I can do that. But there are other options as well through which I can match queries. So another option is type. So type can be uh, by default, it's all. So uh, this means that I should match all queries. Um, but you can also set this option to active or inactive so if i do active let me do this and i click on check query filters i get the two uh, query keys as i was getting before so as of right now because all queries are active i am getting this um, i'm basically getting the same response as if the type was, was all you know uh, and what does it mean by active Active query means that it's enabled. So you know that you can set the enable option to true or false. So by default it's true. So these queries would go whenever you know the component would mount or you know I would call refetch, etc. So these queries are active or they are inactive. So either they are inactive and enabled is false, or they are inactive and you know the component containing that query unmounts. Right now they are in present in this component and this component is mounted, so there's you know all these queries are active but i can change that using uh, the setting the enable option so i can say enabled is false for this query let's say so now if i go and let me remove this and i click on check query filters i will only get query one why because i've set the type to active and because this query is now inactive that is i cannot you know this query is not fetchable you can also see here it says disabled you know this query wouldn't run because i've set it it's enabled to false setting the type to active didn't bring me this query it only brought me this query so what if i set the type to inactive so now it would only fetch inactive queries uh, fetch the query data for inactive queries and we know that this is the only inactive query present so now if I you know remove this data, I click on check query filters, I get query two because this is the only inactive query right now. So that is what the type does. Um, let's set it to all for now. Also, there is another thing 
known as fetch status so what is fetch status um so fetch status can be either idle fetching or paused so by default it's idle by default it's you know um, it fet uh, fetches everything so we can see that um all of these queries are idle idle means that they're not actively going so you know uh, if i refresh you can see that and uh, all of these are fetching but when the four seconds time uh, gets passed then they're not actually going because uh, you know that is when this function is over and you can say that now these uh, queries are not actually fetching the data so when they are fetching the fetch status is fetching when they are not fetching and they're you know not doing anything then they are in an idle state and then there is another state which we'll look at in a bit so when i say fetch status idle and i click on check query filters then you can see that now i you know i get both because currently all of these are idle if i you know let's say refresh and i click on check query filters i get an empty array why because none of these queries are idle now all of them are idle again i click on check query filters i uh, again get these two queries this and this cool um then there is another fetch status fetching so that means when the queries are fetching so this would match the queries which are fetching so now if i refresh they are fetching right now I cl i'm clicking on check query filters and now you can see that you know i got both the query keys now all of these queries are idle now i click on check query filters i get an empty array why because now i'm saying that i want to match fetching queries but now there is no query you know uh, which is a fetching state all of these are idle so that is what fetching and idle was and then there is another state which is paused um if you uh, want to you know kind of look at these three in detail of what fet fetching is idle is and pause this then you can check my tutorial related to network mode uh, i posted it like three four days ago i will also link it in the description so pause means that if i make a request when there is no network connection let's say i turn the network connection off from here now let's say query 2 is present here right so now if i this um no let me first change it to let me bring the connection back let me change it to paused okay so let me change it to paused now uh i refresh and you know you can see the queries are going i remove this i click on offline here now if i rerun a query let's say i am re rerunning query 2 now you can see that it changes to purple and the status is paused paused means that because there is no internet connection i have run the query obviously the query would fail because uh, you know it, uh, the network connection has to be enabled in order to make the request it basically has um pause the query till the internet connection comes back so now i can basically you know when the internet connection will come back you can see that now it's fetching and now it's you know, gone again so now if i go to offline mode i click on reset which uh, reruns the query now it's in a pause state so now if i click on check query filters you can see that only query 2 gets matched because this is the only query with the pause status fetch status so the last thing is predicate predicate cool so the predicate function has information regarding the query and you have to return true or false for that particular query so this function would basically run for each query i can you know remove this <clears throat> because we only have to test that so if i you know by default say return true then it would you know not care about the query at all and it would bring all the queries which are matching this query key so right now if i go here and if i go to console and i click on check query filters you can see that i am getting all the queries corresponding to the query key query <clears throat> which is great but i can also you know run a function so let me you know console log the query object so that we can see what we have so i do this i uh, click on the uh, this again so now basically it 
filtered out based on the query key and now i have two queries right so it basically ran this function against those two queries so we can see that this query object has a lot of things it has information related to the cache it has information related to the internal initial state uh, observers options query key itself the state so the state is basically the data of the query and a lot of things so now i can basically let's say i want to um, I want the queries to be matched based on the data they have. So I can say in this particular case that I want query state data should be equal to query 2. So now I remove this also let me remove the console log it's already removed so now if I click on check query filters you can see that only the query with uh, the key query 2 gets matched and not the query 1 because this is the only query 2 with the data query 2 um, as you can see here not query 1 so yeah this was the tutorial um, query key filters are a great way of matching certain queries based on some filter and doing stuff with them uh, using the query client like cancelling them or you know batch invalidating them etc and this is a way you can do that uh, i hope you like this tutorial if you have any concern or comments you can comment down below as always like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye